everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all good and having a lovely week so far in today's video i am using a brand new mold from molds and shapes this is a flower arranger so you can see here on the left you've got one with nine holes i will be using the one on the right it comes with five holes for your flowers now the idea of this is that it is going to keep your flowers separate when you put your flowers into your vase. Now if you did not see my unboxing video on Monday, I will link that above here. Go check that out, Moulds and Shapes sent me an incredible package of moulds to use. Like I said, this is the one with the five holes. And the idea is that sometimes when you put your flowers in your vase and they kind of all get like choked up together at the top of your vase, these five holes are going to be able to keep all of your flowers separate. So this is gonna be a two layered project. The base layer is going to be this vintage rose from Resin A. It is such a beautiful color. And I think it's gonna work really well with the, because it is a flower arranger. So I'm thinking botanicals and flowers and I've just got it in my head and fingers crossed it works out. Now the flowers I'm gonna be using in the video, I've dried myself in some silica gel and these are obviously not flat. I didn't flatten them, I just dried them in silica. So the plan is, to take individual petals and just kind of crush them up as well as using some of these leaves and petals that I also dried in silica. Now I didn't use the yellow to be honest I just used the green leaves but first things first I am going to mix my resin and get that poured. Now I am using glass cast 3 resin in this video this is ideal for top coating uh, flat work artwork and things like that so I've got my gloves I've got my respirator let's go look out here she comes the woman that I love it's too bad she'll never know yeah I can't tell her how I feel she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind just the two of us, just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before And she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na-na Never know, na-na She will 
Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious but I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page so excited by this i am off now to go and get some flowers and i thought i would bring you along with me to my nearest sainsbury's now i'm going for the cutest prettiest pinkest flowers you can find mainly the flowers that are going to end up in silica gel in around about four days <laughs> So here I am demolding this and it demolds really nicely but you know I'm always worried about molds so I do give it a helping hand by pushing these pieces through. You can still see there's a softness to it at this point. It hasn't been 24 hours yet and ideally you really want to leave your piece 24 hours before demolding but it's absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this free-spirited botanical style shall we call it. It reminds me of potpourri. I feel like I've just thrown a load of potpourri in there but I really love it and I love it all against the pink background it's just exactly how I pictured it in my head and I'm so happy and here are the flowers I'm gonna save you from watching me cut them all down <laughs> but I've added the liquid into my vase placing this flower arranger on the top and you can see my vase kind of pinches in the in the center and what that does is quite often when I put a lot of flowers in it kind of chokes them but this as I'm putting them in I'm realizing it's keeping them all separate and actually makes them look so much better in there this is what it looks like how cute is this guys it matches my flowers I don't think I could have matched it any better than I've matched it I absolutely love it now this is what it looks like without all of my flowers just fell straight in there and they kind of all get choked up around that lip. But here in the flower arranger, oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. What a genius mold. Thank you so much to Molds and Shapes and I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. And yeah, that's all. So if you are interested, check out the description box. I have linked their website and do not forget that discount code. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye. Thank you.